Hello everybody. I want to talk about dating around the age of 50. And long story short, I was married twice. And that's just the way it was. I'm not going to dive into that. But I'm going to talk about what prepared me to be married to my current husband. I'm just going to gloss over a couple of things that I needed to heal from in order to be prepared for this relationship. When I served in the military at the age of 18, 19, etc., I was sexually assaulted by a fellow soldier. I'd never talked about it, so I was dealing with that. And then in 2010, both of my daughters estranged, so I had been dealt those, those cards in life. I had not gotten therapy until probably 2015, 16-ish. And I had to go inpatient to the VA in order to really process my traumas and heal. And then I, I spent some time working on myself. And I was just single. I was happy. I was single. I, I was okay being alone. I didn't feel lonely. I wasn't desperate. And... In 2017, I was able to retire um, with my service-connected disability due to the assault. And I was in a good place. I was comfortable. And I was renting a one-bedroom apartment in Bayview, Wisconsin. It was $5.45 a month. I was living well within my means. And I didn't really have a lot of bills. I had my own money, my own life, my own stuff. And I had to revamp my thoughts and feelings about opening myself up to a partner. Not just a partner, but someone I was going to be married to. And my expectations regarding a future husband. So I raised the bar. I raised my value. I knew my worth. And I decided that I was not going to be intimate with anyone until they met the people most valuable and important to me. And at that time, it was my cousin, his wife, and the three boys that were my extra, like, just, I had kind of become an extra grandma to them. And my family as well, my mom's sisters and nieces and nephews and stuff. And I just wanted to make sure the people that were most important to me met the guy or met and, and, and really got along with the person that I wanted to spend my life with. I wanted to be cohesive, no BS, no drama, no this, no that. And that's the approach I took. And so when I was on Tinder back in 2019-ish, 2020, I, I saw a profile and the profile said that he was hardworking, no BS, had a home in a different city, not too far from mine, about 40 minutes from me, and that he would never send a dick pic. <laughs> I thought, this is the kind of person I want to meet. So we communicated in February of 2020, and it was at the height of the pandemic. So I said, you know what? I said, why don't you message me when we can meet? And so it was in April, he messaged me, and down by me in Bayview, there was a Culver's open. It was the drive through but it was also close to the airport. So I knew we could sit at the observation lot to chit-chat. And so he said, do you want to talk on the phone? And I said, okay. And we started talking, and it was, I was comfortable. And I said, the Culver's by me is open. If you want to come down, we can go through the drive through and sit in the observation lot at the airport and just watch the planes. And he did. And I felt like I was at home. I felt like I could exhale. I really thought I was talking to an old friend. The conversation was deeper. We didn't scratch the surface. We really talked about our life experiences and our relationship with our parents. And we realized our sisters had been friends in high school because he's five years younger than I. So we would have never really met and dated prior to my 20s anyways. 
So we really had a, a lot more in common than I thought. And most important, he doesn't treat me like a princess. <laughs> he doesn't do for me what I can do for myself. And he was able to bring to the table the same things I were regarding responsibility, being financially, you know, being able to stand on your own two feet, contributing to the relationship. He, he carries the heavy stuff. I carry the light stuff. We work together on different things in the house. We we're on board regarding how we want our house to be run. We've had to fine tune things throughout this time and, and as he's in the trade, so his approach is just kind of... <laughs> there are times when he's explained to me he's been a supervisor and people just <laughs> cower when he comes around. So he had to kind of fine tune his approach when he's around me. I guess I'm soft and sweet. <laughs> And that's all I wanted to talk about is when you're dating in your 50s, there's really <laughs> a lot more that goes into it. And I just wanted to share my experience. That's all I wanted to say about it. And I'll be back.